Josiah. Greetings. Welcome to Josiah Plays Torchlight. Uh, haven't played this game before. Heard good things about it. I've heard that it's uh, a good action RPG in the style of the old Diablo games. Um, it was a, I guess it came out as a indie title or a semi-indie title. Anyway, it was a budget release, but supposedly it's much better than, say, Dungeons & Dragons Daggerdale. I mean, this has been well-reviewed uh, by players and critics alike and it's supposedly quite fun. So, I'm gonna jump in here, make a new character, and get going on this thing. Um, so, new character. So I have three classes to choose from. Destroyer, which uh, also known as Ving Rames, according to uh, Yahtzee from Zero Punctuation. Uh, the Vanquisher, expert marksman and uses traps to confuse and debilitate her foes or the alchemist who channels the power of ember to attack from afar and summon minions to his side. I'm gonna go with the destroyer because I, I like the kind of simple melee characters. He excels at melee combat and channels the power of his ancestors to smite his foes. So I'm gonna destroy some shit. Uh, I'm gonna name him in honor of my favorite NPC from Daggerdale, if for those who watched that playthrough, Axstein, named after old Brandis Axstein in that game. Pets, I can have a dog or a cat. There's the cat, there's the dog. Uh, I'm gonna go with a dog, and I'm gonna name the dog Matter, which, uh, reference to another, <laughs> another Daggerdale thing. Not that Daggerdale is such a good name, that I, it's such a good game that I really wanna use the names from, but just as a reference to the last, um, Let's play a series of this style that I did. So there we go. Matter the dog, Axstein the destroyer. Let's do this. Uh, so I can choose easy for players looking for casual fun, normal for players new to action RPGs, hard action RPG veterans should start here, very hard, masochist only. And I could set it to hardcore where death is permanent. I'm not going to do hardcore. I am going to do hard. And we're going to jump right into this. I have always been a wanderer. I have roamed these lands for as long as I can remember, but my blades always lead me back to conflict. When I heard of the evils befalling Torchlight, I returned from the wilderness. Tales of madness, townsfolk slain or missing, and a darkness rising from the deep. It was mm. inevitable that I was drawn to this place. My blades would not be still. So I made the long journey. I arrived at sunset, and while things at first seemed simple, I did not know then the shadows I would face, and the terrible power gathering far below the surface. I would discover them in time. Dun dun dun! Alright, so we're going to the town of Torchlight. Evil lurks below. Sounds very ominous. Uh, we're gonna deal with it with our blades. Uh, this music in the background extremely reminiscent of Diablo. Uh, I believe the exact guy. Because uh, some of the people that worked on the Diablo games you know, used to work for Blizzard, worked on this game. And I, I think the exact guy that did the music for Diablo did this music. I mean, it's, man, it's it's practically the same music. It's probably about as close as they could get without uh, having to worry about legal issues. Welcome to the town of Torchlight. Explore the area by left-clicking to move around. Visit the denizens of the town to shop or find quests to perform. When you are ready, enter the mines to begin your journey. So here we are. Uh, I'm holding down left mouse button to move around. So there's no WASD movement. Oh, so A is giving me this map, which I can toggle every time I press A from the middle of the screen to the upper right corner. Now that I'm up there, I can zoom in or out on this thing, so I'll get it all the way zoomed out so I can see stuff. Uh, oh, left click just did my uh, attack here. Oh, so that's like my... Oh, your mana is low. Mana is used to perform skills or cast spells. Mana recharges over time, but for a quick boost, drink a mana potion by right clicking on it. You may also press the corresponding number key of any potion mapped to the quick slot bar at the bottom of the screen. So this is my quick slot bar. I've got two health potions here, two mana potions, and my attack, slash attack, is mapped to three. And it's also over here mapped to, it looks like my right, my right button. And I'm use, I, when I use that, it takes, what, six mana, and my mana is slowly ticking back up. 
I think I can hold shift to stand in place, yeah, just like in Diablo. So I'm holding shift and now I'm I just rotate and so I can just do my you know, my left click for my normal swing that doesn't take mana. Uh what else do we have going on here? Uh we have alt toggle I item names, so I can toggle that on or off, that'll be good. Inventory is I. This is your inventory screen. Drag weapons and armor into the appropriate slots to equip them. Drop items by dragging them into the play area. Usable items may activate be activated by right-clicking on them. To use items on your pet, drag them to the pet bowl icon at the top left of the screen or hold shift while right-clicking them. Alright, so I have some items here. i got town portal scrolls, just like Diablo. Identify scrolls, just like Diablo. Spells, I have nothing. Equipment, fish, I have no fish. Uh, so, oh, so W to, um, oops, that's not W. W to switch my active weapon set, but of course right now I only have one. Rusty Blade is my simple weapon. I have no other gear whatsoever. There's my guy. So that's the inventory screen. Character sheet. Here I am, Axstein. Unrecognized. That must be some sort of reputation system. Uh, fame. Nil. XP. Nil. Hit points. Mana pool. So I got my four stats here, Strength, Dex, Magic, Defense. This increases melee damage, this increases range damage, this increases weapon elemental damage, and this increases the damage my armor absorbs. So very simple on the stats. Um, some resistances here, Poison, Electrical, Ice, and Fire. So character sheet, very simple system. Skills. Uh, so I've got three trees that I guess I'll be able to spend points into. And right now the only thing I have is slash attack, and I have one in that, and it looks like it goes ranks 1 through 10. So I could keep pumping into that, or go deeper down this tree, or go into these other trees. I don't know how many levels I'll gain, or how many points I'll get, but whatever. We'll mess with that uh, when the time comes. Uh, we have a journal here, showing me my difficulty, and all these other interesting statistics about my play. Pet sheets. This is your pet's inventory. Oh, your pet can carry stuff. Cool. You can carry as many items as you can. You can also have your pet pick up items directly from the ground by holding shift and clicking on them. Pet can also equip a limited selection of items to improve their abilities. Oh, cool. So my pet, I guess he can carry stuff for me. He, here's his stats. Uh, he can wear uh, rings, amulets, and spells even. That's kind of cool. Uh, here's my pet thing. Drop items here to feed the pet. Send pet to town to sell their inventory con contents. That's amazing. My pet stuff. Set aggressive, defensive, or passive. These are just like uh, World of Warcraft. So, of course, we'll have him on defensive, which should mean that he'll attack things that attack me or that I'm attacking, but he won't just go nuts and just attack shit on his own. Here we have a horse. <laughs> you ponder the horse's speed and are inspired to quicken your own step. Hi, horse. Oh, did that actually give me a run speed buff? It, it kind of seems like it. So here, exclamation point over his head. This guy's obviously got a quest. Um, some other stuff going on in town. I just want to look through the rest of the UI real fast. Quests. No quests. Auto map. Oh, that's the same as using A to toggle. Okay. And escape is options. I've already gone in and set all my settings. Graphic settings are maxed. I've got the volume settings at what I believe will be decent for uh, not being too loud or too quiet so really that's all there, that's all there is to it I've uh, I'm ready to rock with this so here's Vassman the Ember Scholar let's see what he has to say anything you need these monster attacks are disrupting my work I am Vassman a scholar of Ember I traveled to Torchlight to study the vast supply of Ember below but these creatures make it impossible to obtain the samples I need Perhaps you have more courage than these miners. If you brave the tunnels and bring me a sample of Gleaming Ember, I will reward you well. It should not be difficult. Look for the ember on the first floor of the mine. And it looks like this is showing me what I'll get. Some gold, XP, fame, and a very deadly chaos gem. I will accept this quest. A new quest. I've begun a new quest. Yay. Well, that's exciting. What else is going on here? Something's happened here that looks... Uh, oh, and I can also zoom in and out. That's kind of cool. Uh, again, no rotating of the camera, no panning of the camera. Simply a zoom in and out, and that's it. Um, Duran the Transmuter combines treasure to create new items. I'm good, thanks, Duran. 
I cannot concentrate with these monsters about! If you have items to combine, you'll have to come back another time. What what monsters is he referring to? Uh, what's over here? We have a fish. I like the graphic style in this. It's cartoony and simple, but it's it's quite nice, really. Oh, here's a fishing hole. Oh, I can fish! Uh... I caught nothing. You caught nothing! Huh! <laughs> Alright. Was enough fishing for now. I, d I don't think fishing is going to be something I'll spend a lot of time on. Uh, who knows, though? It may prove to be really important or something. Uh, we have a tomb-looking thing or a crypt that I can't get into at the moment. Some graves. Nothing I can click on. I'm curious about one thing real fast. I'm going to drop some stuff on the ground. Oh, it makes the same sound effect as Yablo. So... Uh... Okay, so I have that turned off, and then if I hold Alt, the names come on. Or I can turn it on and hold Alt to turn the names off. So I want it to default to on, because uh, I like to be able to see all the stuff on the ground. Um, Alright, so we talked to Duran. What else is going on back here in town? It's a cool little town. I can't really go into any of these. Oh, I get a nice little, uh, like, Inviso frame of the of myself or my pet when I'm behind stuff so that I don't so that I know where I am shared stash this is your shared stash placing items here makes them accessible to other characters you've created really well that's pretty helpful I think they finally added that to Diablo 2 in a patch or something but that's kind of nice so if I had multiple characters I could put stuff in there that I'm not going to use on this guy or whatever uh, what else we have going on in town? What What is this? This is like a big old monster just laying dead in town. Here's Tarn the Merchant, sells general goods. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Tarn. This is the merchant interface. Drag items from the left to the right to buy them, and vice versa to sell. You can perform an instantaneous transaction by holding shift while clicking on an item. You can also buy and sell from your pet's inventory located in the bottom left. So here's my pet stuff, here's my stuff, I could shift, oh and it shows me the sell price when I mouse over things, it shows me the cost to buy stuff, he's got, oh, no weapons or armor, he's just got scrolls and stuff, how much money do I have, do I have any money? Where does it show me my, oh I have 100 GP, 100 gold, take okay, care, thanks, I appreciate that, I will take care, alright, who's this, Trya, the gem seller, hi there, hi, if that seer hadn't arrived to fight these monsters, I would already have packed up my gems and left town. Please, help her if you can. I don't know what seer they're talking about, but okay. Duran again. Let's talk to Gorin. He enchants items. Good day. Good day. Ember is essential to my work, but these monsters are making it impossible to mine. I am Gorin the Enchanter. For a price, I can imbue your weapons and armor with the magic of Ember. Be warned, Ember is powerful, and even I cannot predict its effect. So in other words, it might screw you. Cool. Oh, stash. So I have another. This is your stash. You can place items here for long term storage. If your inventory is getting full, offload some artifacts here. So I have plenty of places to store junk, both here and in the shared stash. Uh, we've got merchants around, uh, several of which looks like their functions are like currently locked until I do some plot thing involving the monsters. This looks interesting over here, kind of like a teleporter thingy, but uh, not. Dead monsters, dead monsters. What else do we have going on in this town? Uh oh! We got fighting! Rattlin' Foreman! Extra strong does not flee! Well, he should have fled. Brink! Over here! I can't hold them back much longer! Oh, we have drama going right, on. Sil? Rest here a while. I'm going ahead to, to finish the job. Awesome! Voice acting! Thank you! At least for important characters. Uh, so, Sill seems to be hurt. This is Brink, his friend. He's going ahead to finish the job. He goes running into the mine. It's no wonder Master Ulrich sent for my help. The Ember Mines are overrun with these creatures. His letter was urgent, but I had no idea how dire things had become. I am Sill, and that was my companion, Brink. We've only just arrived in Torchlight, and it looks like we're going to need some help. You look capable, and I can pay you well. Please, catch up to Brink before he gets himself killed. So, we've got a major character who's offered us a story mission, apparently. Uh, that's awesome. 
We'll jump into that next time. That's all the time we have for this video. Thanks for watching. Josiah plays Torchlight. We'll see you next time.